Morgan, the club have taken up the option to trigger the extension of your contract. It must be a good feeling to get your security in place for, for next season. Yeah, like you said, really, there, the security is the main thing, but obviously we're going in a good place as a club, so it's just good to be a part of that for the future. Obviously, you joined last January, played nine times last season. You're actually undefeated in last season, all the, the games you played during that kind of settling in period for yourself coming, coming up here. Did you notice any kind of obvious differences coming into the Scottish game from your time playing south of the border? Instantly, the jump into the men's game is completely different to 23 football, but I think even more so up here, I had that little spell at Fleetwood, like it's a lot more, uh, I want to say, physical and also I think competitive as well in this league, and that was a big thing that stood out to me. Obviously, you were injured on the, the last game of last season, which hampered pre-season for you and set you back the start of this season. How frustrating was that? I don't really can't describe it. You know, it was like the last ten minutes of the last game of the season after I've had a little run of games, and it was like I can't really still even put it into words. It was just a nightmare situation for me, but it then obviously stopped me from coming back for pre-season and then a good amount of games at the start of the season, and I'm kind of playing catch up for the rest of the season. But I think now I'm at a place where I can say I'm like ready and I'm and back up to scratch with everyone else in terms of fitness-wise and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. Is Stretch still buying you coffees to apologise for making you stay on? He is not uh, happy about me blaming him, but you know I still got to give it to him. He's not. I've not given me. He's not given me one coffee yet, but I will try and get something out of him. I was back in the team in October this year as a sub in a one 0 win at home to St Johnston. Must have been an enjoyable moment having to work so hard to get your your fitness back and push for that that place in the squad. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on obviously with the physios and behind the scenes you're working. It can be quite lonely at times, and then when you push really back through and get into the squad, it's like a good feeling to be back involved with the, with the lads. Of course you became the, the first victim of VAR in its very first game at Ibrox when an initial yellow card was upgraded to a red. You must have been questioning your own luck at that point, having just got back from injury and then uh, yeah. a yellow card overturned. As soon as that happened, that obviously you back down the tunnel in the change room and I, and I was thinking what like what is going on here, what have I done to deserve this? Obviously the tackle was looking back kind of questionable but it, obviously at the time you're thinking, oh. It was just a nightmare. You scored your first goal in January this year in the, the draw with Motherwell, you know, your first goal in, in senior football. That moment you'll remember for a while? Oh no, that, that'll stay with me forever. Obviously, it was my first professional goal. That really meant something, so it was just a nice achievement to get. Now, in the last stretch of this season, a big push needed to kind of hang on and, and, and push for that top six place. Just how big an achievement would it be for yourself and for the club in general for to get that, that top six? I think it would be massive for myself and also for the club you know if we get that top six and even try and push to get that european uh, place for the benefits that would bring to everyone would be massive now that you know for sure that you'll be playing your football here next season what's your own ambitions and hopes for your own career going forward from from this stage i think i want to kind of build on what i started the past month you know obviously i came back out with the illness and i was out for a week which obviously drop me out of the team, I want to just get myself back in the team and then maintain that, obviously try and pick up as many wins as possible and then take next year, see how we finish this year and, and really start strong next year.